Hello, my name is Joel Zwijnum. In this video, I would like to present my paper that introduces a method for embodied design in and through collaborative mixed reality environments called performative prototyping. In my artistic practice, I design mixed reality experiences like this one for the Prague Quadrennial in 2019, entitled 36Q Blue Hour VR. It offered an immersive VR experience within a designed physical and virtual space. While using immersive VR headsets in this work, I still refer to mixed reality here because this setup purposefully mixes both spaces as one designed experience. Research shows that experiencing immersive VR involves physical sensations that respond to the experience as if it is real, while the experiencer actually knows it is not. In VR, the physical responses to the physical and virtual environment influence the intensity of the aesthetic experience significantly which means that the physical body is central to the experience and should thus be incorporated more extensively in the design process itself, including design considerations relating to the perceptual complexity of being in two spaces at the same time. When designing mixed reality experiences, designers often sit behind their desks utilizing 3D software on 2D screens while assuming how the embodied experience will feel. However, it is questionable if the designer can imagine the experiential quality of the embodied experience while physically not engaged with the designed experience itself, especially when designing something that has not been done before. In the 36Q Blue Hour VR design process, our team decided to use embodied design techniques to prototype the experience in a very early stage of ideation. Here, one team member would function as an experiencer, partly role-playing an unknowing participant, improvising its responses to the mixed reality environment while constantly voicing its perceptions. Meanwhile, other team members could follow this first-person perspective on a monitor, relating the spoken feedback and physical behavior to the visual stimuli. Furthermore, one other uh, team member would operate the virtual environment through several preconceived scenes while also live responding to the behavior and feedback from the experiencing, experiencer using Wizard of Oz techniques. We have already published a paper about this design process utilizing these improvisational embodied roleplay and Wizard of Oz techniques. However, this doesn't mean that it was ready to be applied by other design teams in their mixed reality experience design projects. This is why, as the next step, I have studied by using a research in and through design methodology the application of embodied design techniques in collaborative mixed reality environments in two consecutive case studies in higher art education at the Hake U University of the Arts Utrecht. Both student groups were assigned to design a mixed reality experience using immersive VR headsets, combining physical and virtual environments, objects and participants. Out of the comparison of these two case studies, the proposed performative prototyping method emerged. The performative prototyping method combines the following elements. A physical and virtual environment that enables collective embodied design processes in a technologically mediated space. A set of embodied design methods combining various body storm and Wizard of Oz techniques and a vocabulary enabling the recognition, sharing and evaluation of the lived experience within the team. Finally, this method is aimed at designing so-called performative mixed reality experiences or prototypes for non-artistic contexts. Collaborative mixed reality environments in which multiple people can share and adapt ideas and concepts in a mediated spatial environment that allows for a certain degree of full body engagement are not new. Also, fully virtual environments allowing for multi-user collaboration are around for a while. However, recently the amount of this type of platforms has exploded. To efficiently use limited time and resources, I decided to choose and adapt such an existing platform as the basis for a collaborative mixed reality environment, rather than developing an entire system from scratch. Eventually, I chose NEOS VR because the platform needed to be open enough for creative design processes and allow for adaptations to connect its virtual environment to the physical space. Not only is its inherent built-in networked multi-user avatar-based VR-ready real-time 3D computer-generated virtual environment the reason for this choice, 
as more platforms provide these properties. NEOS VR was selected especially because it provided a workflow where most creative design steps could be performed in real time inside the VR platform itself, including visual programming. Here you see me teaching my students the first basic steps to make interactive objects in the virtual environment within NEOS VR. By making connections with the physical environment, the design teams were able to try full body interactions with physical objects that would also exist in the virtual environment. As such, NEOS VR was used not only as a platform for showcasing the final product, but especially for faci facilitating the collaborative process through creative design activities like exploring and experimenting. That would lead to the development of a meaningful artistic mixed reality experience. This exploring and experimenting through embodied design techniques is known within the performing arts for a long time. However, within human-computer interaction, more recently, similar techniques have been developed in what can be typified as body storming, which are brainstorming activities that heavily rely on rich bodily and situated engagement within the ideation process, wherein designers use their bodies to enact design functionality or usage. Many combinations of embodied design techniques have been proposed, like experience prototyping, role play, embodied storming, embodied sketching, and embodied design improvisation, which in this uh, latest version of, of um, Elite uh, Diaz, Kamon, and Xiao from 2019 also incorporate Wizard of Oz techniques. However, in applying these techniques, I noticed that some proposed body storming techniques would be more productive in different stages of the design process. This led to the understanding that these techniques are partly governed by the amount in which the embodied design techniques would be scripted or led by preconceived ideas. As such, it was important to decide whether an embodied design activity was aimed at ID generation, concept development or user testing. While most of these body storm techniques are action-based and aimed at an external evaluation of physical activity, SOMA design techniques consider the designer's body as a resource in the design process itself, whereby subjective experiences, feelings, values and meaning-making processes are considered essential information. In the prototyping, um, prototyping method, this information is articulated, shared and evaluated in two different ways as a phenomenological description of the sensory phenomena and as a soma aesthetic evaluation towards a meaning-making interpretation. Becoming sensitive to these phenomenological sensations and translating them into design implications while being in VR, negotiating the mixed reality environment, needs a lot of training. Furthermore, being able to articulate and communicate this inside-out information to other team members is also not easy to learn and master. Reversely, the other team members needed to train and develop their skills to evaluate the meaning of the experience from an outside-in perspective using a dramaturgical lens. Furthermore, Wizard of Oz controls were developed to enable the teams to live puppeteer improvised responses to the experiencers in VR which could later be partly automated in preconceived cues while still staying sensitive to the timing of the moment. These Wizard of Oz controls were accessible both through 3D interfaces in NEOS VR and through a MIDI controller hardware interface which would be operate from uh, both physical and virtual environments. To conclude, this research proposes a performative prototyping method that combines the adapted social VR platform NEOS VR as a collaborative mixed reality environment, a selection of embodied design methods using body storm and Wizard of Oz techniques, and a vocabulary using inside-out SOMA aesthetic and outside-in dramaturgical perspectives to design performative mixed reality experiences. However, as mentioned earlier, I also suggest that this method has the potential to be applied for other experiential prototypes that are not aimed at an aesthetic artistic experience. Currently, I'm researching the application of the performative prototyping method in human-computer interaction and engineering design education together with my colleagues at the University of Twente in design processes that are aimed to develop applications for non-artistic contexts, such as stimulating healthy food purchases in supermarkets. 
As such, the performative prototyping method is still under development and needs more research in its potential for broader application in artistic and non-artistic contexts. However, I hope this presentation has been inspiring enough to read my paper and stimulate discussion and development of embodied design methodology using collaborative mixed reality environments. I'm very open to your feedback and suggestions. Thank you for watching.